before this video starts guys if you guys could drop a like on the video that'd be so much appreciated 50 to 100 likes be ever so much appreciated on this video honestly it took quite a while to think of this and i just wanted to give out my honest opinion so yeah if you guys could drop a like right now that would be awesome and let's jump straight into the video so the ray gun a gun that originated from the first ever call of g world at war map and has now been brought into black ops 3 over the years this gun was gone has gone from the best but has now gone to the worst I'm going to need to back up my answer and explain my point in this for you and in, on this video. So if you guys could drop a like on the video, that'd be so much appreciated. Subscribe if you're new around it and tell me your opinions of the Ray Gun in the comments down below and shotguns and other guns. Follow me on Twitter at JamieIves4, that'd be ever so much appreciated. You guys can stay updated with all of my tweeters and all my things and stuff like that, whatever you guys want to call it. And let's jump straight in to this topic. So in World at War, Natched on Totten, this gun was the only wonder gun and everyone thought that this gun was the best, including myself. But then as you moved on to maps like Shine Numa and the Reese and Zombie for Rocks, you had the Wonder Waffle which was then the best wonder gun in the whole game. Everyone was so hyped and crazy about that. But this gun, kids would freak out about getting this gun even though it was pretty much the best back then. But until the wonder gun came, it pretty much just got wiped out. In Black Ops 1 we had amazing like wonder weapons in all the different maps, especially the Thunder Gun which is literally just the god gun in that game. In Black Ops 2 we had guns like the Ray Gun Mark 2, the Paralyzer, etc, etc, the Squigglefire, the I can't really pronounce that right. And we had all guns like that that just overtook this thing. And now in this game we have Blast Furnace on shotguns which just makes this thing look like a piece of crap. Up until about round 30 this thing is fine and then even if you pack a punch here it gets around 35 and yeah that's all it's going to really do. This gun pretty much sucks ass now so my point is that in the game of Black Ops 3 you can only pack a punch this gun once you can't have any effects on it which is like a normal for a wonder weapon but honestly this gun compared to like a haymaker with I don't know blast furnace and dead wire on is just a piece of crap so honestly i wish that they actually buffed this gun quite a bit to make it a little bit better but at the moment this gun sucks in my opinion tell me your opinion in the comments down below that'd be so much appreciated also subscribe if you're new around here leave a like on the video 50 to 100 likes would be so much appreciated and will make my goddamn day anyways i'll catch you guys in my next video peace